Hi guys, my name is Marcela. Welcome to my channel, my Fonseca. Right now I'm gonna react to The Last Kingdom Season 2, Episode 4. Very excited to watch. This is a show I love very much. And if you wanna support me, don't forget to leave the like. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can also leave a comment if you guys wanna talk to me or tell me what you thought about the episode. I really enjoy it whenever you guys talk to me. And there is also a link to my Patreon if you guys wanna support me there. And I also post episodes the next episode is already there, available on Patreon, and also full-length reactions to my episodes the, of the shows that I watch. So if you want to check that out, the link's down below. So right now, let's just start, let's just start with The Last Kingdom, Season 2, Episode 4. Like I was saying, guys, this episode was to make it up for all that I suffered in the last episode. Because then, like, we had the attack. First, we had Uhtred, like, talking to the king, that king that I don't like. And having the king apologize and saying, oh, the, that's the bullshit. And at first, I was, like, maybe thinking that that was an actual apology and he felt bad about it. But then he said, like... He said all the reasons why he did it and made Uhtred a slave. And it came to my mind just that he's weak and stuff. And then when he said about the fact that he still considers Uhtred his best friend, I was like, mm, no, I don't I don't like that. Like saying he considers his, his greatest friend. I'm like, you do that to a greater friend. You clearly are bad and maybe you are just giving a bullshit excuse and and not being truthful that's what came to my mind that maybe he wasn't being truthful or not but anyway we got ultra attacking on this episode the brothers like it happened so much on one episode that i almost forgot about that he attacked the brothers and alta alta red was so good on this episode like i wasn't really trusting him when alfred wanted to send him to with them, but he gave so so many good advices to Uhtred to like make Uhtred see if he were to betray Alfred, he would get killed and stuff. I felt like he was so spectacular in this episode and so right, so spot on that it made me like him on this episode. I go from not liking him to kind of liking him. I really like Alfred. I like that he was playing with his daughter and kind of teaching her. I didn't like the fact that he wanted to kill Uhtred in case Uhtred decided to change his... decided to go to Dane, like I was saying before. But, like, I can understand why he, why he would do that, but I still I don't like it because I want Al Alfred and Uhtred to be, like, best pals. This episode, we also had Uhtred and Ragnar going together and attacking the... Uh, attacking Kjartan and I felt like the plan that they did was really good I got it got me very very nervous during the entire episode and there was a point where I thought Sven's gonna escape but then he didn't and I thought Kjartan was gonna escape and then he didn't and I thought that Kjartan was gonna kill Ragnar and then he did it and I was like that was a, that moment when the Kira killed Sven and that was so satisfying to me I know it was a gruesome death being killed like that, but I felt like he deserved it for all that he did before. And then after he died, I thought Kjartan wasn't going to die because I was like, no way they're going to give me the death of these two guys that I hate so much on this episode. And then they did. And I was like, so happy. And right away, I, I was scared for, for Tira and scared for, because I thought she might want to harm her brother and like both of her brothers, Uhtred and... Ragnar because she was so upset about the fact that they left her there for such a long time 
but like they were saying, they didn't know she was alive. And when they do know that, when they do found out that she was alive, they kind of didn't have how to get to her, at least not at that time. They didn't have an army, so they couldn't rescue her. But I'm glad she was finally rescued. I love love how Bjorka talked to her on that moment to prevent her from hurting them. And then when he sat down to talk to her, I don't know if she's going to become a nun or not, but I felt like maybe she's going to look for religion after everything she's been through and the strength that she got it. But I thought it was really, really cool when he were there and saying to her he wouldn't harm her and saying that he was Bjorka and he knew Uhtred from the young age and she talked about how Uhtred saved her when she was a young girl. Also, I think I feel like Eric and Siegfried, I don't know if it's Siegfried the name, but I I know the brother is probably going to come back eventually. I was very scared when Uhtred went to attack them there and at the camp. That guy put up a good fight and then when he Utra chopped up his arm. I was like, damn. And I thought he was going to die on that episode. But considering everybody showed up, he, he wouldn't anymore. And I was like, okay, so now they're going to leave, but they're going to come back eventually cause problems because Uther was in a position that he couldn't kill the guys as he wanted. So I felt like they got left for later and eventually they're going to come back. I don't know when. But I'm not doubting anything on this show, especially considering that guy, the one of the brothers, the one that's not Eric Siegfried, probably gonna the name. He said he will kill Uhtred, so I'm I'm sure he's gonna come back for more payback. Also, I don't want that king, good good him, whatever. I don't want him to be the king of everything. I want Alfred to be the king of everything. Like if you have to have one king, I want him. I don't want that. That guy, because that guy do, does not deserve to be king. If it has to be to have one king on one place, I would like Uther to be the king of Bagvimber and Northumbria. But since they are trying to join all the the parts of England into one, I wish it is Alfred. And if it is on history, Alfred to be the one or not, I'm sorry, like I'm bad in history, so there is much that I do not know. And I just get some of the stories that about when the shows present them to me. But at where I am at right now in the episodes, I wish that guy wouldn't become the king of everything. I wish Alfred would. And I can't wait to watch more. And oh, I was going to forget to say the fact that Uhtred married Gisela. I don't know if that's going to cause problems or not. And because he married her behind Alfred's back. And I feel like, considering the fact that Bjork asked if he was behind Alfred's back, I feel like that's going to cause a problem. Because they can't marry without the king's approval or something. And there was, like, no more witnesses. So I was afraid. And I'm afraid something bad might happen for that. For that. I might be overreaching. I don't know. But I'm so used to stuff bad happening for whatever reason that whenever something happens, I'm already go to afraid that something's going to happen wrong because of that. So this was an amazing episode. They did that because they were, they wanted to make it up for me for last episode of how much I suffered. I suffered a little bit on this episode too, but all that I suffered was rewarded because they gave me a good ending and we got the, the revenge that we wanted and we got the rescue that we wanted but I was so afraid Ragnar was going to die on this episode and I really didn't want him to die. But I'm glad he did it and I'm glad that everybody that I liked came back alive in one piece. And we got to Tira back since the first episode I wanted her back and I was afraid for her for all that she was suffering. So I'm very, very, very happy for that. And I can't wait to see more about her storyline. And that, this was my reaction. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Bye.